Hello, welcome to English for Everyone. Today we're looking at special words that are spelled with O V E. You can have three pronunciations with O V E. Let's look at our first word. Our first word is stove, making the long O sound. O. Stove. Stove. I have an old stove. Do you have a new stove or an old stove? And we see the long O sound with the word over. O. Over. The game is finished. Or, the game is over. Let's practice. Is the game over? Very good. Example, grove. A grove is a farm for trees. If you grow oranges, you have a lot of orange trees. That is a grove. An orange grove. I have never been to an orange grove. Have you ever been to an orange grove? Very good. Another example is cove. Cove. A small beach is a cove. Making the long O sound. O. Cove. They're swimming in the cove. Are they swimming in the cove? Very good. Another example. Clove. Clove. I don't like the flavor of cloves. I don't like cooking with cloves. Do you like the flavor of cloves? Very good. And we have some verbs in the past making the O sound. Weave. In the present, weave. She's weaving a rug. In the past, she wove. She wove a rug. And the participle is woven. She has woven many rugs. So the past is wove. She wove a rug. Did she weave a rug? Very good. The verb dive. In the present, dive. In the past, dove. He dove in the water. Let's practice. Did he dive in the water? Very good. And the verb drive. In the past, drove. She drove to the store. Let's practice. Did she drive to the store? Very good. Now we see the word dove in the past. Remember, in the present, dive. In the past, dove. Well, we see the same letters spelling dove. That's right. D-O-V-E spells dove. The white pigeon. The white bird. Dove. So when you see D-O-V-E, it can be dove, the passive dive, and it can be dove, the white bird. It depends on the usage. So remember, the white bird is a dove, making the short sound, uh, 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 relax, uh, uh, the sound is down here, uh, duh, dove, dove. So the white bird is a dove. The dove is a symbol of peace. Another example of the sound, uh, oven, relax sound, uh, uh, oven, oven. I'm making bread in the oven. Or I can say I'm baking. I'm baking bread in the oven. Another example? Cover. Uh, uh, cu, cover. Cover. I always cover my mouth when I sneeze. Achoo! Do you cover your mouth when you sneeze? Very good. And we hear the short sound, uh, with the word love. Uh, love, love. 
They love each other very much. Let's practice. Do they love each other? That's right. They love each other. And with the word glove. One glove, two gloves. The sound, uh, glove, gloves. I wear gloves in the winter when it's cold. Do you wear gloves in the winter when it's cold? Very good. Another example, above, below. Above, making this short sound, uh, uh, above. Example, there are many pictures above the couch. Let's practice. Are there many pictures above the couch? That's right. There are many pictures above the couch. And we see the action shove. Shove is a verb. It means to push hard. Push hard is shove. Don't shove me. The boy is shoving the girl. Or in the past, he shoved. He shoved her. He shoved the girl. Shove. Short sound. Uh, uh. Shove. Shove. Did he shove the girl? That's right. He shoved the girl. Not nice. And our last example is shovel, making the short uh sound. Sh, shovel. He has a shovel. He's digging a hole with the shovel. Let's practice. Does he have a shovel? Very good. Is he digging a hole? with the shovel? Very good. And our last sound for O-V-E is OO. Example, move. Making the long OO sound. Move. Move. I am buying a new house, so I am going to move. I'm moving to a new house. I don't like to move. Do you like to move? Very good. Another example, prove, making the long oo sound. Prove. Prove is the verb. Proof is the noun. I show you the proof. Verb. I prove it. I can prove it because I have the proof. Prove. I can prove it. I have the evidence. I have the proof. I can prove it. Let's practice. Can you prove it? Very good. Similar word, improve. Making the long oo sound. Improve. To get better and better and better. Improve is the verb. Example. Do you want to improve your English? That's right. I want to improve my English. Good example. Similar sound. Approve. Approve. I say yes. I approve of. Remember connector of. I approve of that. Or I approve of this. Remember of. Approve of. I don't approve of his behavior. He's being bad. Do you approve of his behavior? Very good. Thanks for watching. And if you want to improve your English, Click the link below and check out the book that we use with our students, and you can practice your listening, reading, and pronunciation. Thanks for watching. See you next time.